today we're doing a wonderful poll and we haven't we've been we've been going last week so we back that was a yeah but we back so the poll that we posted up was baby baby mothers versus baby fathers and the right time to have a child so the winner was baby, baby mothers and baby fathers sorry i had to i was about to say um okay so i'm gonna do the shout out for that first before i forget it was a shy wisdom S H I W I S D O N underscore. And before I forget again, we're gonna do the heated topics. I got like 12 of them, guys, just so you know. So the first one is only people with no job excited about 80 degrees weather on a weekday. That's a lie. <laughs> That's, a lie. That's a lie. This is, I wrote, yo, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm backed out by mistake. I wrote still popping out or only unemployed people? Still popping out. I, Bro, I would go to work with a little dress on with some shorts. Like, you know, like, it's fucking hot outside. It's time to be, like, you gotta pop out. All right, so the shout out for that one, if I can see the shit. Okay, so the shout out for that one goes to Kells underscore Hardaway. <laughs> okay, the second one is, how does bitch 27 can't ride dick properly? <laughs> I was fucking weak, yo, I'm telling you. It was give me a porn star or I'll take the virgin. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you taking the porn star or you getting the virgin? I want I want to take the porn star. Though, but I don't know. I think at twenty seven, like you kind of should have already had like, some experience. So. Yeah, fucking give me the porn star. All right, All right so it's gonna go to uh, Kyle West. Is that two in this course or one? I think it's two. Yeah, it's two. It I think two. it's two. It two. Describe an orgasm. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shout out LA for this one because this shit had me fucking weak on me. Yo, it's it. Put in your ear, you that feeling? That's what Yo, so it's either it's a Q-tip in your ear or free the demon. Shout out to LA for that one. I gotta shout you off for that because that shit had me fucking weak. Like that was go to go to our second our no our third one year season. third season one year anniversary. Shout out to Don and LA. Cause that shit, yo, we was fucking weak. Like I was like, never in my life. Make sure the girl, you, girl sitting in your passenger seat in your car is the same girl who would sit with you at the bus stop if life turned out differently. On God or fuck her. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, just gonna go to Saint Double Dot Elo. Oh, oh, Stilo. It's Stilo. Oh, it's Stilo. Yes. Oh, she's just oh, Shout out to you. That was season two. Yeah. <laughs> Thick ass bitches that call me skinny and frail, and it was basically me. It's the guy fucking the girl, and so I was like, dead ass or now I'm trash. Nah, dead ass. <laughs> Yo, mad girls be thinking skinny niggas don't be doing work. Yo, I'm telling you, they, they putting that work. I don't agree though. Well, not all skinny guys. Like some, some like. Some skinny. Is if you're skinny, what? I'm weak. If you're skinny and you got muscle, then okay, I can fuck with it. But like, if you skinny and you can't do shit, then nigga, you're trash. Like, you gotta have a little bit of meat on your bones to wanna fuck somebody. Like, how you trying to fuck somebody? How you trying to fuck your girl from the back and then you can't even hold her? Like, you're bugging. Oh, uh, what the fuck, Elijah? That is cool. Oh, shout out to Elijah. Okay, boom. Now this one, you can say something about because. If your girlfriend cheats on you, you need to understand that you lack something that made her cheat. So instead of leaving her for another girl, you gotta find the error in yourself, apologize to her, and be a better man. Agree or not is clipped. Oh, yeah. That's, that's cat. I'm sorry, that's cat. <laughs> what? Like, so you're gonna put the blame on me for you cheating? Nah, I can't even tell you what the shit and the things said, but I was fucking oh. weak. Like, what? Uh, so if my girl cheats because something wrong with me, like... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, man. It's gonna go to Abig underscore L. Abigail. It's Abigail, but the underscore is between the G and the E. Yeah. That was all my topics. So guys, today our wonderful topic for today <laughs> is baby mothers and baby fathers. So you know we gotta start and ask each other do we got baby mother, baby father. I don't got none of that, so nah. we don't got baby mother and baby father out here. We too young for that. Um, do we know anybody that's a baby mother or baby father? I do. I do. Okay, so ooh, got you. So what's the worst part about those situations? 
I say more times than not, they usually single. So like they're the ones having to deal with the child and her while like the father or the mother is like like dick ass. So um, which one got it worse? I say yeah, I was gonna say fathers. Low key, cause I'm like, yo, with I don't wanna say it's hard for I mean it's easier for either side, but like with baby mom it's almost that's how I fucked up. But it's almost normal, like, that a mom would be alone raising a child, but at the same time, a mother is very nurturing and very emotional, so the child still benefits from, you know, being nurtured and growing into, you know, like, for example, breast milk or, you know, things of that sort. With the baby father, it's like, you can't give it breast milk, so you probably have to buy, like, you know, the, the synthetic milk at the store, which is not really healthy. Like, guys are not so much emotional like we don't have that emotional part in us so raising a child is like extremely hard considering we don't know what we're doing whereas a mother even if it's their first time raising a child they're already loving and emotional so i think it's hard for a father okay so when the two are co-parenting together what do you think is the most how do i say this like like what is the three let's do it like this. What are three main things that could be could make a make the altercation make a altercation between the two trying to deal with the child? That don't make sense? Kind of, kind of. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna give you an example. So the two the two parents and co-parenting, right? They want to be a father. What is three things that make it hard for them to coexist trying to raise their child? I say the biggest one is either one of them or both of them didn't want the child in the first place. Shit happened by accident, so now it's like, damn, like I wasn't even really trying to fuck with you, but now we got a kid. Like, Sorry. now we have to stay together, or even if we don't stay together, it's like we still have a child to deal with. Like, I can't just abandon it. I think personal issues, like if you guys were like constantly fighting before, adding a child to the situation kind of makes it worse. Like, like for example, if let's say me and Serena, like we, like we were dating, but we never like wanted to move in together because we wasn't really that serious and then poof we have a child like I don't know how to explain it but like you know how the child the child has to live somewhere so it's like who who lives where with? yeah and then the other person has to come visit and then it's like it becomes too complicated. You don't gotta stay you go take that kid back to your house I see you two days for later like nah, what so you're not gonna take your child like I see you two nah, days nah, later I'm, like I'm, I'm gonna take my child but I think it just becomes it it becomes too hard, especially when a child, because then it's like, now I'm moving back and forth, doing this all the time, or say for example, like y'all set up a schedule where the mom has it like four days, and then the father has it on the weekends. But then like one weekend the father can't do it. But that works though. But you have to, that, that's when communication comes in, because if you be like, oh, you can't take them, then you gotta be like, oh, you know, blah, 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 they're gonna stay with you. Cool, you go see your grandmother house, or I take you, I keep you, that's it. Yeah, but I think, but it becomes harder on the child though, because then, like, what if it continuously happens and then the child's like, oh, damn, like, I don't see my dad as much. Then he starts loving his mom more than the pops. And then the pops like, like, the, get pushed don't away. Like, a, a little boy's gonna dead always love his mom. Like, he loves his dad, but trust me, like, he's dead a mom with boy. Like, he's dead loving his like, That's what I'm like. And then, my other nephew, he loves my brother, but he be wilding for his mom. That's what I'm saying, like, and they live together, so that's a different story. Like, my sister, and this kid, like, Great one. Um, I might even take a step further and say, um, the parents of the, like, baby moms or baby pops. Like, if the parents not really fucking with who the opposite parent is. I was waiting for that one. I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah, like, <laughs> then it becomes, it becomes too hard, because you know how grandparents are, like, when they have a grandchild, like they're very caring for it. So like, if let's say the mom has a child and then like her grandparent, like her grandpa, grandma is like, they like in love with the child, but then they don't like the father. Then like, in a way the grandparents are gonna try to push away the father, but like at the same time, like it's my child, but you shouldn't be able to tell me what to do with my child. But then it's like, that's also my grandchild. And this is like, the mother of this child is also my child, so it's, it's, it's too conflicting. Like, it's too many, like, <laughs> sense of control, like, who controls what, but I don't know. 
in my opinion, I feel like if you're the father of the child, like you should be the one saying what happens because at the end of the day, it's your kid. Like, it's your sperm and her egg. Like, sure, it's the grandparent, like it's a grandchild, but at the end of the day, like this is not your child. Though. It's a grandchild, but it's not your child. It's almost like, oh, that's my aunt. But I'm weak. <laughs> So at the end of the day, like, you're only like part of it because you have some piece of what created me, but you're not the prime creation. Like, it's mom and dad that brought me here. So. so what if you don't want the baby mother that you got? Honestly, on a maturity level, you're gonna have to deal with it. Like, at the end of the day, you put yourself in this position. Ain't nobody tell you to have sex without a condom. Fine. Even if the condom broke, like, I get it, like, shit happens by accident, but at the end of the day, like, you're still dealing with the child. Like, you gotta think about the child first. You get it? Like, I know the baby moms might be mad and annoying, like, she might be on your ass and might even throw child support for it. Crying. Like, at the end of the day, you gotta think about, like, put yourself in a child's position. Like, how would you feel if, like, your father didn't really want you like that, so he pushed me away because he didn't fuck with mom. Like, like, I get it. I know the baby moms might be annoying. You kind of got to deal with it. You have no choice. I want you to share your story. <laughs> with the guy, with your friend. Be like, how did you want on each other? Yeah. Obviously, they're not going to know. Like, they don't watch my show. That's the one that the mom spit on her, or she spit on the mama. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was like, I'm weak. That's a toxic yeah, big mom, baby that's, father. That's, like, that's very really toxic. They wildin'. And they together, together, like. Mm-mm. How the, it's a baby, baby. Kids, like, oh, yeah. why don't they each other like that? Honestly, I feel bad for the kids. They be around when they be wilding? That's OD. See, nah, see, that, I don't know, like, now you gotta chill. Like, I'm not trying to be arguing with one of my kids like that. But they don't live in the same house, uh, same apartment, though. They don't live in the same apartment. Fighting, like fist fighting each other, like that's OD. Like, nah, honestly, I think if I put myself in that situation, I feel like it has nothing to do with the kids. Like, I'm gonna still love my kids regardless, but like, I just can't. Like, I'm gonna do what Serena said. Like, I'm gonna come, obviously, we can't live together, so I'm gonna come, like, pick up my kids. Like, they'll stay with me for a couple days and I'll bring them back. Like, we don't have to necessarily communicate, but as far as my kids, like, I'm gonna still take care of them. My kids. You know, what's a good example? The queen and her, and her baby father. Like, it was bothering. And then now, like, he, like, no funny shit. He don't stay with her. Like, the boy, the son, the boy stay with the dad. She do, though. She just wants to go see him, all of that. Like, then flew out to fucking wherever to go. Like, yeah, okay, and that's the thing too. Like, you, she got a whole nother baby now. That doesn't mean you're gonna forget about it. It's just y'all, yo. She lived, she lived on two. They live on two sides of the world. Like, 
He lived witty with that. Hmm? Oh, just because she don't post about it doesn't mean she don't talk to him because no it had nothing to do with that it just she just probably don't want to post about it like who says she not posting about it you probably don't see it just because so just but so because i don't post my kid i don't got i don't love my kid what does that mean what does that mean Why is that so wrong? She's with him every day though. Like she lived with that baby. Like Yeah, he does. Yo. Yo. You're not even trying to back me up, but like, you're not trying to cause it's true, like just because I don't post my other child doesn't mean I don't have the next child, like. Like, you have, they co-parenting with each other. Like, they talk because of CJ. They don't talk because of anything else. But that's an example of, oh, y'all co-parenting. They live on two fucking sides of the fucking world. Like, what the fuck? What? First of all, she she moved from where he was at. She moved to New York. Then she moved to California. So, what the fuck? In California. Mm-hmm. Where she, where she's from? She's, I don't know, I forgot where she's from. I don't know if it's fucking. Yeah, Mm-mm. It's somewhere else. It's not Georgia. So they co-parent with each other, right? So it's like you have to think about oh, you have to think about oh, how is your child gonna be with you? Like, so she would go fly out to see him. Then he would come there, but he stayed with the father. He stayed with the father wherever they at, and then she would go visit. She would come, blah blah blah. But she does have a next baby with a whole nother person and that person and that guy her new man that loved that love her son like that's his own kid so you know it, it, it's pros and cons to being with a new person it's pros and cons of having baby mother baby father so i personally never do it though like do what like, oh, baby moms and then having a baby with somebody else but you don't know how your life is gonna nah, be nah, I'm, i get it like i'm not i'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. Like, you know what i'm saying if that's what happens then like, I don't know, with me, like, I'm not having no kid until I absolutely am sure that, yo, like, I'm fucking with you. Like, they gotta, we gotta be together for years. Like, I gotta, I gotta know everything about you before putting a child's life on the line. Because, like, look, look at a queen now. Like, I'm pretty sure it's mad difficult having a, a newborn, but then at the same time, like, you have a whole other child that lives on the other side of the world and you could barely see it. So like, oh, you probably like. Keep saying the world, but it's the. It's well, the I mean, it's, like, <laughs> I kept saying the US, world. For sure, but, like, it's hard like taking flights out every other week and like flying in for a couple of days, cause then now you're visiting your first child, but then your newborn is staying with. No, she took him. She took that baby with. See what is different she though. She took that baby. Now it's like. She's like, oh, you coming too? Uh, like, it, it's so complicated. Like, I can't do that. Facts. And then she do got money to be like, oh, I'm going to fly out. That, that, that. So. That's, that's different. And mind you, most people that's going through what Queen's going through are not in the same bracket. So she's famous, so she got money, whatever she wants. Most people are like working regular nine to fives. So they can't fly out and do that every week. And what? No uh, funny shit. Though, no different. funny shit though. But that situation, it was like they was married to each other. They was married to each other, and he did whatever he did. So it wasn't like it was her. They was they was married to each other. Yeah. So because she wanna go to the next person, that's the problem. Fuck out of here. <laughs> if she wasn't what famous. But this shit happened before she even was famous. Like she was YouTube famous, but she they wasn't famous famous. This shit got lit because they was YouTube stars. They was it wasn't because. So I'm confused. I want to understand. That's why I'm asking you. Like. Cardi and what's his name? How baby fast? That's different. How? How? Because she wanted to have the music that she had? 
Like, I'm confused. Nah, uh, Cardi, Cardi been the same since, like... Cardi been this, like, Cardi been doing whatever she do, like... Wow. She just... But how she a thought, though? Wow. Like, if she tried to discipline you, 
You fucking with mm-hmm. it? Exactly. She, but no, That's but she didn't saying. try to discipline nah. me. She would talk to my dad to discipline me. She didn't nah. try to discipline me. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, even if she, like, all right, even if she tries to, like. First of all, if she did that shit, I would have went to my mom's. My mom's would have came and fucked up. So that wasn't the case. Like, your mom, like, my mom would have came to Connecticut <laughs> and fucked yeah. this up. Like. But that's how 
how you are as a parent. If you don't, that's how, no, no, no. It is because if you with your partner and you believe your partner's more important than your child, then that's a different story. Like, See, but as a parent, you always gonna put, put your child first. So exactly, so then that's a bad parent if you put in your partner before. So what did you say? No, he said as a, as a surgeon, uh -huh. when they don't want, they want to expect more attention from their parent All right. at a certain age. Uh -huh. So when they see that, like... And that's what I'm saying, I'm like, as I'm a parent seeing, though, but as a parent, you just notice that in your child, you should pay attention to that. Like, that's a bad parent then. Like, if you're not paying attention, that your child wants more attention. You understand what I'm trying to say? Um, you can give your child as much as attention as you want. That just, when but that's who, that, the, the yeah, child might not like the person, though. And then, all right, exactly. And that can take a toll on you, because at the end of the day, depending on the parent, if, like you said, it's not a bad parent, mm -hmm. so you're going to choose your child over whoever, no matter what. So if that child is showing those right. little features they're gonna be like well something is not for me like they're gonna have enough so yeah, they're gonna put in a position where they're gonna have to choose like do I choose my child or do I choose a partner and they're so going to choose a child to the point of, you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. but that and but I feel I feel like y'all not separating the two though like it's like okay listen 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 like again like okay that's for you let's let's do it this way you married to the person right y'all break up the, that child, depending on the child, is gonna be mad that y'all broke up, y'all doing what you're doing. Depending on the child, some people be like, you know, that's your business, that's, you know, your relationship not working, your relationship not working. Then, on top of that, it's like, you get a next person, that person is not for your child. That person is for your happiness, though, you understand? That person is in your child's Yes, okay, so, I got you right now, my friend, boom, sis, don't like her mother boyfriend. And shooty's grown, like, and it's like every, and she got a son, though. She got a younger son. The son is like maybe eight, nine. And she, the, he don't like him. And but she don't care. So she put that she put that man before her children. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's exactly that's different. But that's what I'm trying to say. That per, she's thinking that as this is my happiness. I take care of you because I take care of you. But this guy's not here for y'all. This guy's here for my happiness. You understand now that how I'm just I'm just like separating the two, All right, like at a point in your life as an adult, you're going to be that person's mother, you're going to be that person's father regardless, but you also have to think about yourself, a lot of people like because you have kids, you think that oh your happiness doesn't matter, like it, it does though. Alright, you can separate the two, but at the end of the day, it's going to only be one. And yes, your child is supposed to come first. Because at the end of the day, you all have to coexist in each other's life. Yes. If the two can coexist, how the hell are you going to be happy? If your so-called partner, yeah, nice. so partner and your, and your children are I got a next happy. example. I got a next example. My uncle, right? His ex-person, right? <laughs> so sh his son... <laughs> yo, this is out my crib. Like, my, my aunt house, yo. My uncle is fucking hilarious. Okay. So he has a son. His son, his, his that's his youngest kid. And her, the moms got old boys. She been married like three fucking times. They never like none of her fucking husbands. When I tell you they fist for him, they fist for him. Right, but she don't care about how her children feel though. That's what I'm trying to say. No, that's not the reason why. The reason why, no. The reason why she been married three times is because the niggas is trash and they ain't shit and they using her for her money. That's exactly the reason why. She like choose her own niggas. It was like, all right, but all right, to her, that's what made her happy. Exactly, all but right, she, but and that's what I'm trying to say. Listen, you said they can none say, of her none of her children, like, none, no. All right, and you said she been married. They like times. one person, they like one person. Guess who that person is? Her My uncle. Father. No, that's, that, that no, only, he, that's only the father to the, to the son, the last son. Why is it, why is it that? Well, that's, My uncle that's is, step out, basically. But that's the only person. Brothers, but that's the only person that they fuck with. All right, because they have a reason. For it. No. And no, they told to him. They like was like, me. they was like, oh, we fuck with you because you it. But she, they fucked up whatever relationship they wouldn't have. But All again, right. but that's what I'm trying to say. So this one person though, quote, like, is in their life regardless of if 
they was together or not. So my uncle is the one person that they allowed to be in her life, though. All right. So all well, he's other not people, an asshole to his child. Two it's not, but it has nothing there. to do with the he's other fathers, their though. Mother's father. Okay. And he's not an asshole to his child, so they like, all right, it's acceptable. So, so, so my, so my, so my father's it's wife was acceptable to treat me like shit. No, it's not. That's exactly. So I didn't have to like her. So that's what I'm trying to explain. Like I don't, I didn't have to like her. I didn't want to like her. I didn't really care about her. I was little. I don't give a fuck. But but you, your father is just an asshole. All so right, but my okay. He never, he never wanted to believe y'all. No, he didn't want to believe in me. Already, but that's a whole different story. But that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Like. I, I coexisted in that type of really environment. That's why I'm like, regardless, you have to learn how to separate the two. Like, she didn't know how to separate the two because she didn't know how to separate that. I'm I'm still a child and I'm just gonna I'm here. Like, it's, I'm already here, man. You can't take it back. What you gonna do? Put me back in the vagina? Like, I don't understand. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, regardless of anything, you still have to treat that child and that person's life with respect, regardless. But some people don't do that. You understand? Regardless of if this your child, if this your stepchild, if this anything, as a as a mother, as a parent already, as a father, like y'all should learn that you still have to respect the child. You still have to coexist with each other, regardless of anything. If I don't like, if the kid don't like you, the kid just not gonna like you. There's a reason why they don't like you. But you understand what I'm trying to say? Do y'all understand? Am I crazy? I do understand. I told you I'm not gonna agree with you, but I understand. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it, but my point is like, you still have to learn how to coexist regardless if you like the person or not. Like, you still have to learn how to, because regardless, that person is making whoever happy. Like, so you don't have to like anything. That for, she don't, the person don't have to make a decision. They could just be like, you gotta stay here, that's it. Like, the, the parent. All right, and no fun. I agree. I agree. But that but that has to but that also has to do with where you stand in your relationship with your parent though. You understand? All in all time, this is just way too complicated. <laughs> Listen, bro, if you can avoid not dating yeah. somebody with a child already, do it. You know, have your own children. Like, have your own children? Oh my yeah, god. Like date somebody with no child and y'all have a child together and you never know else's. what's gonna happen in life. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying like. I understand, but like, if, if I recommend that you date somebody without a child, if what? you date somebody with a child and you happy, by all means, be happy. But personally, like all that shit. If you don't like somebody's child, child, you're just not a kid person. Don't get with that person. That's it. Like, move on. Get a next bitch. <sighs> Anyways, guys, so that was our wonderful debate about baby mothers and baby fathers because we out here wilding like we got baby mothers and baby fathers. <laughs> Make sure to check out my show in August. Hit my feelings. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, I don't got nothing. <laughs> All right, but until next episode, you guys can follow me at underscore we want more on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me at Rita Host on Instagram and, t and Twitter. And make sure you follow the Wonderful Shows page at TNT Cake Show on Instagram and Twitter, guys. As always, make sure you like, you comment, you share, subscribe. Bye, guys.